Hey everybody, Roxabox90 here with our Ravnica City of Guilds opening. So I procured a Ravnica City of Guilds tournament pack from my sponsor, ABU Games. And because we've hit our 2500 plus subscriber mark, we're going to open it on camera. I haven't opened Ravnica forever, and it was one of those sets that I wasn't hugely part of when it first came out. Most of that means I didn't buy a lot of Ravnica, which is why I don't have a play set of Dark Confidant and stuff. Like, I do have a bunch of fetch lands and stuff from Onslaught and the like. But that is worth lots of money. It is very cool. So let's take a look. We got a Foil Uncommon, Frenzied Goblin. Very cool. And we have an Anton Johnson Pro Tour card. It's pretty insane. And let's take a look. So we got our foil, Frenzied Goblin. Actually, I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see the card. We got a Frenzied Goblin foil. Then we got some basic lands. And Raptic always had gorgeous artwork. To say, very, very nice. A whole bunch of basic lands. So I'm pretty sure the rares are behind here. So we're gonna turn it over and not look at them yet. And remember there are three rares. So one, two, three, three rares in this pack. And let's take a look at the uncommon. So we got a Ribbons of Night, a Cleansing Beam, which has Radiance, which was interesting for multicolor. We know Ravnica, we got Guilds. Cyclopean Snare, Flamekin Zealot, very cool card. Then we got No Mage Shepherd, Elf Shaman, Gifter's Blade, play with Flash, and it's funny, this is back in the day before they had Flash, so it says anytime you can play an instant, very cool. Halcyon Glaze, Dimir Machinations. Oh, okay, so we did not get a Remand. Oh, bad, oh too well. But we did get a Celestia Signet, Signets are fantastic even though common. So Signet, Veteran Armor, another Signet. Brain Spoil, Cell Sword Brute, Siege Worm. Convoke was a Selesnya ability, let you tap out your token creatures to play bigger things, which is fun. Sky Knight Legionnaire, really powerful limited pull. It was three for two, two Flying Haste. That's pretty sick, guys. Thundersong Trumpeter, Ordron Commando, Golgari Rotworm, Tormenon, Stinkwit Imp, was reprinted Modern Masters. This was the original art. Dredge, one of the best original Dredge cards. Very cool. Sabertooth Alley Cat, Gather Courage, Strangler, Induce Paranoia. Great flavor, great art. Torpid Moloch, Guardian of Vitugazi. Vitugazi again, Selesnia. Boros Garrison, these were the bounce lands. They're decent budget in EDH. I'm not a fan of them, but they are. They let you return a land to have a dual land, but they hit play tap, so not quite as good. Tatter Drake, Mortipede, Dogpile, Zephyr Spirit, Lurking Informant, we got hybrid symbols, something Ravnica was known for. Surge of Zeal, Sundering Vitae is actually pretty good in proper EDH decks because you can convoke it, and play it for very cheap, destroys artifact or enchantment. Caregiver, Dizzy Spell, Thought Picker Witch, kind of interesting card. Seismic Spike, and an Elvish Skysweeper. And then these Anton Johnson Pro Tour Pro things. Very cool. So our first rare we have is a Eye of the Storm. Seven for an enchantment. Whenever a player plays an instant or sorcery, remove from the game. Then that player copies each instant or sorcery card removed from the game with it. For each copy, the player may play the copy without paying the mana cost. Wow. That's kind of ridiculous. And... A very wordy, texty card that's very expensive. Very cool art, but not that great a card. Then we have a copy enchantment. Everyone thought this would be big when Theros came out. Maybe it can be in the future. It comes into play, you may choose an enchantment, and if you do, it becomes a copy of that enchantment. So if they play a god, you have this, and it becomes a copy of the god, or becomes a copy of any really powerful enchantment. It's a fun card. Probably see some play in EDH, at least in limited play in EDH. Very interesting. And the last card is a Bright Flame. 
X, two red and two white for a sorcery with radiance. It deals X damage to our creature and each other creature that shares a color with it. You gain life equal to the damage dealt this way. All right, so this seems a very, very limited card to play with. Maybe in a very heavy multicolor it might be something, but not great. So we didn't really get all that much from this. We have a couple of decent commons. The rares, I think the only one that's worth anything or is any good is Copy Enchantment. Foil, nothing special. And we got Anton Johnson. So that's kind of anticlimactic. We got uh, the Ravnica lands are probably for me the most exciting part because I love old school Ravnica basics. That's my most exciting part. But you know, you don't win them all. So let me know what you guys think of the opening. And if you guys would like this to be of the different tournament packs, I'm going to give away 3,000. If this is the one that you prefer, the Ravnica set, then let me know that down below. And let me know future openings that you'd be interested in seeing. Like the video and get up to our 2750 subscribers so we can open our Urza Sega's product, which will be coming up hopefully soon. And as always, Roxbox90 signing out. I'll see you guys next time.